Namaste, beautiful. Welcome to class. In today's class, we are going to be focusing on one of my favorite things, which is opening the hips. Uh, I'm also using this um, new Pivo thing that I bought. Um, so it pivots, so it's supposed to follow my body. Um, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Uh, I used it for a dancing thing yesterday and it, and it worked well, but now it seems to be moving quite a bit. Anyway, um, I think <laughs> I'm going to be setting my intention today around accepting uh, whatever happens um, with the filming of this. Um, I've had a lot of anxiety lately around um, wanting to get more filming done. Um, right now is the 21st of December and I'm leaving the 26th of December for India. Um, and so really I only have like two more days to get filming done while I'm here. And I've had in my mind like, oh, I need to get all this done, even though I don't need to do anything. Um, so I'm going to set my practice, my intention for the practice um, on, um, yeah, just trying to, calm down and let things happen as they happen. Um, try to be less forceful and more accepting. Um, yeah. So hip opening, accepting. Let's get started. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start in one of my favorite starting positions, Supta Baddha Konasana. So feet together, lying back. I like to put my right hand on my navel and my left hand on my heart and just start breathing naturally. And here I'm already reminding myself of <laughs> my intention of acceptance. Um, so you can set whatever intention makes the most sense for you. Or you can go ahead and use the acceptance. And when you're ready, if you want to take the breath a bit deeper, breathing first into the belly, then into the chest, and into the shoulders, lifting the shoulders up, and then breathing out, relaxing the shoulders, breathing out of the chest and out of the belly, into the belly, into the chest, into the shoulders out of the shoulders, out of the chest, out of the belly, into the belly, into the chest, into the shoulders, out of the shoulder, out of the chest, out of the belly, into the belly, into the chest, into the shoulder, out of the shoulder, out of the chest, out of the belly, into the belly, into the chest, 
into the shoulder, out of the shoulder, out of the chest, out of the belly. Into the belly, into the chest, into the shoulder, out of the shoulder, out of the chest, out of the belly. And at this time, if you'd like to activate your ujjayi breath, you may do so, constricting the throat, and breathing through the nose. And let's go ahead and take the hands below the thighs. And gently, gently, gently start to close the legs. Take the right knee, hug it up to the chest. Take the left knee, straighten it out. We're going to warm up the knees. Um, we're going to do some things that might be a little bit straining on the knees today, so be sure to be careful with them. So inhaling, making a circle that goes up, exhaling, bringing it down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Other direction. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale two. Inhale, three. Inhale, four. Inhale. Five, inhale, six, inhale, seven, inhale, eight, inhale, nine, inhale, ten. Straighten, bend, switch legs, pulling the left knee up to the chest. And let's go ahead and take those circles. So circling up, inhale. And down with an exhale. Inhale. Two. Inhale. Three. Inhale. Four. Inhale. Five. Inhale. Six. Inhale. Seven. Inhale. Eight. Inhale. Nine. Inhale, 10 switch directions, inhale, one, inhale, two, up, three, up, four, inhale, five, inhale, six, inhale, seven, inhale, eight, inhale, Nine, inhale, ten. Good. Straighten, bend, straighten both, stretch. And put the knees, rock it up into tabletop. And let's circle out the wrists. Always a good idea, in my opinion, before any practice. So circling forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back, inhale, three I think, <laughs> inhale, four, inhale, five, 
five, other direction. Inhale. One. Inhale. Two. Inhale. Three. Inhale. Four. Inhale. Five. And let's flip the wrist upside down. Oh, walk the knees a bit closer. And kind of rock back and forth. Two, three, four, five. And switch to the fingers. Are pointing toward you, palms down. And rock it back one. Two, three, four, and five, and come back to tabletop. And let's take some cat cows. Inhaling the arch. Exhale to round. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, arch it. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take it in a circle. So inhaling, arching in a circle. Exhale. Round it. Take it back. Inhale. Two. Inhale. Three. Inhale. Four. Inhale. Five. My direction. Inhale. On. Inhale. Two. Inhale. Three. Inhale. Four. Inhale. Five. Let's tuck the toes. Push it back to downward dog. And walk it out. Move your hips. Whatever feels good in your body for your first downward dog of the practice. Mm, yeah. All right, with an inhale, sweep the right foot up. Come up high onto the left toes. Exhale. Slowly bring the knee toward the nose. Gently place the right foot between the hands. Bring the left knee down. Come up. Hands on the knee. And let's take some pulses here. If you have taken any of my classes before, I pretty much like to warm up this way. Um, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? <laughs> All right, and let's um, push the hips down. Go ahead and take an arch back. And inhale it up. Bring the elbows down to the mat if you can. Otherwise, you can take your hands, heel toe, the right foot out. And let's open up that hip. So inhaling, pushing the hip out. Exhaling, bringing it back. Inhale, push it out. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let's lift that 
left foot up toward the left glute, Go, reach back, grab the left foot with the right hand and slowly releasing any tension in the left leg, start to push the left foot toward the left glute. And if you'd like, or I encourage you to open up the hips, pushing the right knee out, leaning back with the upper body, three, two, one, inhale up, exhale, release the left foot gently, inhale, push back into half split, and let's just kind of rotate the hips back and forth here, three, four, five, take an inhale, arch the back, Exhale, round it out. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Tuck the back toes. Take an inhale. Sweep the right foot back up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift the left. Come up high onto the right toes. Exhale, bring the knee toward the nose. Gently place the left foot between the hands. Drop the right knee down. Interlace the fingers the other direction. And pulse with it. Mm -hmm. Oof. I actually only did an Ashtanga practice the past couple of days, so my hips oof, could use a good opening right now. Mm -hmm. All right, let's push it back. Five, four, three, two, one, inhale. Exhale, elbows down if you can. Heel toe, that right foot out. Coming into a nice deep lizard. And let's open the hip. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, push it out. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, mm, inhale, yes. Bring the right foot up, push it toward the right glute. And let's open it up, bringing the left knee out, leaning the opposite direction with the upper body. Five, four, Three, two, one, inhale, come up. Exhale, release the foot. Inhale, come back into our half split. Move the hips back and forth. Four, three, two, one. Let's inhale, arch it. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale round. Inhale arch. Exhale round. Inhale arch. Exhale round. Inhale arch. Exhale round. And let's tuck those back toes. Inhale. Sweep the left foot up. Exhale. Bring it down. Let's look forward, come up high onto the toes, bend the knees, round the spine, float, hop, step forward, inhale, head up, exhale, forward fold. Let's ragdoll it here for a few seconds. So holding on to opposite elbows and just 
rocking back and forth. All right, and here we go. Let's inhale. Coming all the way up to standing. Exhale. Hands come to heart. All right, let's do sun salutations until I feel warm enough. So maybe three to five. All right, so here we go. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, head up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Five breaths. Two. Making sure those armpits are looking at each other. Looking toward the navel of the head. All right. Coming up high onto the toes, bend the knees around the spine. Hop, step, jump, float, whatever. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale. Namaste. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, head up. Exhale. Step, jump, whatever you choose, chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, down dog. Five breaths. Two. Walk up high onto the toes, bend the knees around the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, namaste. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, head up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Five breaths. Inhale, high on the toes, bend the knees, round the spine. Continue the inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale. Namaste. Let's do one more time. All right, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, head up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale. Upper dog, shoulders back. Exhale. Downward dog. Five breaths. Come up high into the toes. Inhale. Continue the inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale. Namaste. Samasatihi. Okay, let's go into the sequence. So, here we go. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, head up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. 
Exhale. Down dog. Inhale, lift up the right foot. Exhale, right foot. Slowly steps between the hands. Inhale, up to warrior two. Exhale, inhale, reverse. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, exhale, hand down to the mat, extended side angle. Exhale. Inhale, step onto the right foot. Exhale, come into half moon. Inhale, start coming up. Exhale, come into skandasana. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, start stepping onto the right foot. Inhale. Exhale. Half moon. Inhale. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, step up. Exhale. Half moon. Inhale, exhale, skandasana. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, warrior two, exhale. Inhale, start standing on the right foot. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, start lifting. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, stand on the right foot. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, start to come up. Exhale, skandasana. Woo, last one. All right, right hand goes down to the mat. Left hand circles around. Sadhu pose. Inhale. Exhale, step the left foot behind the butt. Inhale, coming up to wild thing. We're going to just warm up the back. So exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. One more time. Inhale, it up. Exhale, look at the right hand. Inhale, start to take the left foot off of the mat. Reach for the left foot with the left hand. Wrap the peace fingers around the big toe and extend the leg. Inhale. Exhale, look down at the right hand. Slowly guide the left foot next to the right hand. Continue twisting. Coming into Skandasana again on the left. Inhale into Goddess. Exhale. Inhale, straighten the legs. Turn the feet in. Exhale, forward fold. Now you can grab onto the toes. You can take whichever variation of the forward fold you like. So either um, hands on the mat, hands behind your head if you want. You can put your hands on your waist. You can put your hands behind your back. Either way, I think we're probably at five breaths right now. So let's go ahead, take an inhale that rides all the way up. Exhale. Let's inhale, hands up. Exhale, let's go back to our goddess. Inhale, up. Exhale, back to Skandasana on the right. Place the right hand down. Take the left hand up. And take the right foot forward. Extend. Three, two, one. Curl the knee. Left hand down. 
right foot shoots back up, three-legged dog, right foot comes back down. Other side, lift the left foot up, come up high onto the toes, left foot comes, slowly steps between the feet, come up, warrior two, inhale, reverse, exhale, inhale, exhale, back to center, inhale, exhale, extended side angle, inhale, exhale, come into half moon, inhale, start to come up, exhale, skandasana, inhale, warrior two, exhale, inhale, stand on the left foot, Woo. <laughs> exhale, bring it down, half moon, inhale, start to come up, exhale, skandasana, inhale, warrior two, exhale, inhale, stand it up, exhale, half moon, inhale, start up, exhale, skandasana, inhale, warrior two, exhale, inhale, exhale, half moon, inhale, exhale, skandasana, <laughs> here we go, last one, inhale, exhale, inhale, standing up on the left, exhale, half moon, inhale, exhale, skandasana, left hand comes down, right hand comes around, sadhu, inhale, exhale, step the right foot behind, inhale, lifting up, wild thing, exhale, coming down, inhale, wild thing, exhale, down, inhale, wild thing, exhale, down, two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, look down at the left hand with an exhale, inhale, start to bring the right foot off of the floor, reach toward the right big toes with the right hand, extend that leg up, two, and slowly guide the right foot next to the left hand, coming into Skandasana on the right, bring it up, exhale goddess, inhale straight legs, exhale fold it forward taking whichever variation you'd like, I'm going to go ahead and place my fingers behind, so my shoulders are a bit tight, four, three, two, one, with an inhale, ride it up, exhale, inhale, arms up, exhale, back to goddess, inhale, up, exhale, skandasana, inhale, take the left foot, bring it in front of you, two, one, bend the knee, right hand comes down to the mat, left foot extends up, exhale down, inhale, look forward, make your way to head up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, roll it up, exhale, namaste, all the way down, samasa tiki. Okay, let's go for round two. Um, but this time we're just gonna go through it um, posture by posture without repeating any of the ones that we were repeated last time. So here we go. Ready? Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, head up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And I lift the left, right leg up. <laughs> Come up high onto the left toe. Exhale. Right foot plants between the hands. Inhale. Exhale. Warrior two. Inhale. Reverse. Exhale. Warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. Extended side angle. Inhale, standing on the right. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, start coming up. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, exhale, sadhu. Inhale, exhale, step the left foot back. Inhale, up to wild thing. Exhale. Look to the right hand. Inhale. Left big toes, left peace fingers. Lift it up. Exhale. Slowly bring the left foot next to the right hand, twisting into Skandasana. Inhale. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, stand. Turn the feet in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, ride it all the way up. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, up. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, left the right foot up. Exhale, knee bends. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, right foot up. Exhale, bring it down. Other side. Inhale, left up. Exhale, left foot steps between the hands. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale. Warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, standing up onto the left. Exhale, find the half moon. Inhale, start your way up. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, sadhu. Exhale, inhale, step the right foot back. Exhale. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, look at the left hand. Inhale, reach for the right toes with the right hand. Exhale, inhale, slowly bringing the right foot down next to the left hand. Skandasana. Inhale, exhale, goddess. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, exhale, skandasana. Inhale, lift the left foot in front. Exhale, knee bends. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, left foot up, exhale, left foot comes down, inhale, jump it forward, exhale, forward fold, inhale, arms up, exhale, namaste, samasatihi, let's go again, inhale, arms up, Exhale, fold. Inhale, head up. Exhale, jump it back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right up. Exhale, right foot between the hands. 
Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. And let's exhale all the way into extended side angle. Inhale, standing up on the right. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, exhale, skandasana. Inhale, all the way to sadhu. Exhale, step the left foot back. Inhale, come up, wild thing. Exhale, look to the right hand. Inhale, left toes, left hand. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Take it all the way down. Inhale, exhale, skandasana. Inhale, exhale, goddess. Inhale, straight legs. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, head up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, straight legs. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right leg down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left leg between the hands. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, all the way down, extended side angle. Inhale, stand up onto the left foot. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, all the way to sadhu. Exhale, right foot back. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, look down at the left hand. Inhale, right toes, right piece fingers. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Bring the right foot next to the left hand. Inhale, exhale, skandasana. Inhale, stand it up. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, stretch it up, toes in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, head up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, ride it all the way up. Exhale, goddess. Inhale. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, extend the left leg. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, hop it forward. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, let's do one more time fast. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, head up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot between the hands. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, start standing on the right foot. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, exhale, skandasana. Inhale, sadhu. Exhale, step the left foot back. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, look to the right hand. Inhale, take a hold of the left toe. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, guide the left foot down. Inhale, exhale, skandasana. Inhale, exhale, goddess. 
Inhale. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, ride it all the way up. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, straight. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, right foot up. Exhale, right foot down. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, left foot between the hands. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, start to stand on the left foot. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, exhale, skandasana. Inhale, sadhu. Exhale, right foot back. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, look to the left. Inhale, toe to hand. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale. Exhale, slowly step the right foot next to the left hand. Inhale. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, straight legs. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, straight legs, toes in. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, ride it all the way up. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, straight legs. Exhale, skandasana to the left. Inhale, lift the left foot. Exhale. Inhale, left knee bends. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, lift the left foot up. Exhale, left foot down. Inhale, bring it forward. Flat back. Exhale. Pull. Inhale, ride it all the way up. Exhale. Namaste. All the way. Samasa Tihi. Now let's slow it down and add a couple postures. Here we go. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, jump it back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right foot up. Exhale, right foot between the hands. Inhale, and let's hold it. So now you have time to uh, think about your alignment. So making sure that your right foot is facing forward, left foot is facing sideways. You're nice and straight in the body here, doing the best to make this a right angle. Looking over the um, right hand. So we don't want to be leaning forward. Don't want to be leaning back. We're going to be right in the center. Nice right angle. If you get this angle, then you can feel this lock. And you feel, ooh, I found it. Um, it's hard to get here. <laughs> um, so be sure to be taking care of your ankles and your knees. So when you're doing your alignment, work from the bottom up. If this can't be here, this shouldn't be here. Understood? Okay. <laughs> I explain more on the other side because I think we should reverse it. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. And let's come into extended side angle so we can either be here, you can have the hand behind if you wanna open up a little bit more. Or we can take the bind, so we take the, the right hand, bring it underneath the leg, reach for the left hand, making sure we keep our shoulders open, 
looking up. Five, four, three, two, one. If we want, we can try to keep the bind. Look down to the right toes. Step the left foot in. Whew. And slowly lift the left foot off of the mat. Four, three, two, Woo! <laughs> One. And exhale into Skandasana. Woo! All right. Let's open those arms so we can either stay here or take the bind. So reach in the left hand around, bringing the right hand behind the back, grabbing the right wrist with the left hand, and keeping it open. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Release the bind. Right hand down. Coming in to Sadhu. Ooh, I love holding this one. <laughs> Ooh, so we're on the blades of the right foot and also on the blade of the left foot. Ah, <sighs> four. Three, two, one. Step the left foot back. Come up into wild thing and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Look down to the right hand. And we're holding this too. Yes, we are. <laughs> reaching for the left foot with the left hand extending that left foot up if you want to challenge yourself look up five four three two one and ever so slowly guide that left foot down and let's come into Skandasana. We already held this, so we don't need to hold it again. So let's come up. And yes, we're holding Goddess. Exhale. <laughs> 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. Five, four, three, two, and one. I was going to put an inversion in here, but I think I'm not going to. Let's lift up, turn the feet, hold it forward. If you want to take a headstand here, um, you may. So bringing the head down and lifting the feet. You know what? Let's take the headstand. Yeah. If you want to keep the hips open, so going along with our hip opening, you can keep them here or if you want to go all the way up, you can go all the way up as well. And I'm going to leave them nice and open. And let's hold for five more. Five, four, three, two, one, and slowly bring the feet back down. And so we're actually going to continue coming down, bringing the butt down. So sliding into a little straddle here. Um, and we're going to work on the hip flexors. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> so let's take the hands and put them on either side of the 
uh, right foot. So um, you could find where the best challenge is for you. Um, it's more challenging if you're farther forward, less if you're farther back. I like to do kind of in the middle. And then we're going to lift. Um, let's point the toes. Why not? Uh, we're going to lift the leg and we're going to bring it forward and back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whoa. Now let's go to the other side. Here we go. Bringing it forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whoa! All right. So now we're going to kind of skip through a couple of the postures. And we're going to bring the right foot and we're going to slide it in. So we're kind of like in a straddle facing the corner. We're going to take the right hand. We're going to take the left hand. We're going to use it for momentum, bring us up. And here we are at the end of our sequence. <laughs> we're going to lift the right leg up if we want to. Let's hold it. Five, four, three two, one, bend it, and left hand down, so we'll reach the right foot up, and place it down, other side, here we go, lift the left foot up, come up high onto the right toes, left foot comes between the, the hands, circle it up, and two, warrior two. Okay, so I'm gonna continue saying what I was saying on the other side about um, checking from the bottom up. So, yes, we want to have our hips facing this way. We wanna be looking this way. We wanna have our right angle. That's a lot, right, to have in one pose. So, the first thing we want is we want our feet in the right place, okay? So once we have our feet in the right place, then we try to see if our knees can go in the right place. If the knee is coming forward, mm -mm, we want the knee back. And if that means we need to be up higher here, then we need to be up higher here, okay? So um, very important that the knee is in line with the foot. So we are not doing any damage to the knee here, okay? Ah, so check your alignment. Ah. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, one, and reverse. Five, four, three, two, one, inhale, exhale, extended side angle. If you want, again, you can place the left hand behind, or you can take the bind here. So reaching under the left leg, grabbing the right wrists with the left hand, and looking up to the sky. So we only want to be taking these binds if it is opening us more. So if you notice that you try and take a bind and it's closing you off, don't take it, please. Um, it's something that you can work toward. Um, and no one thing is better than the other. We're all seeking the same feeling. It just takes different things for each of us to get that feeling. Okay. Now that I've given you that talk, let's look toward the left foot can keep the bind or you can release the bind. My left foot is cooking. Oh, let's lift up the right if I can. 
five, four, three, oh, two, one, and coming into Skandasana. Whoa, that's a relief. All right, open the arms. Ah, take the bind if you so desire. Mm. Grabbing onto the left wrist with the right hand. Ah. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release the bind. Left hand comes to the mat. Right hand circles around, coming onto the blades of the feet. Oh, yeah. Sadhu. And five, four, three, two, one. Step the right foot back. Circle that right arm up, coming into wild thing, holding it this time. Five, four, three, two, one. Looking down toward the left hand, taking the right toes into the right hand. <laughs> Reaching that foot up, looking to the toes if possible. Five, four, three, two, one. And reaching the right foot next to the left hand, coming into Skandasana. And coming up, down to goddess. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, bring it down if you want. You can take the inversion again. Otherwise, you can stay here in your forward fold. Okay, here we go. Lifting the feet. And I'm going to stay here this time. Let's hold. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and slowly bringing the toes back down to the mat, and again. We're coming into our straddle. All right, so this time um, we're going to reach the arms out and we're going to come over to the left. So as we reach over, we want to be putting our shoulder toward the mat, reaching up, opening that top shoulder and looking up toward the ceiling. Ideally, both hips should be on the floor. Honestly, I like it when I can just reach over as far as I can. So sometimes I let my hips come up, but technically you're not supposed to. <laughs> okay. And hold for five, four, three. One and bring it up. Other side. We reach to the left to reach right. Mm. 
Ah, yeah. Keeping those shoulders open, looking up. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale up. And let's exhale center. Okay. Time my at. Oh, okay. That's fine. Okay. Access center. So, ideally we want the toes still pointing up toward the ceiling here, knees pointing toward the ceiling. Um, but in a second I'm going to come forward into middle split. So, and then you can change your orientation. So, um, you can either stay here if you'd like to, or you can come forward to middle split with me. So, um, you can come up to do so, or you can just slide in, depending how open your hips are. So, um, it's helpful to place the hands here. There's hair all over here. Okay. <laughs> So let's place, place the hands here and come up, bringing the hips in line with the feet. And so here I am have a nice straight line from toe to toe and I have my knees, my toes pointing this way instead of up. Um, I like it this way because I'm using gravity to bring my hips down toward the mat um, instead of trying to force them forward as I would be if I was sitting up. Mm, so let's hang out here for a minute. This is the cultivation of our hip opening practice. It's our middle split. Um, if your middle split is a bit higher off of the ground. Um, please don't feel discouraged. Um, there are definitely pros and cons to every amount of hip openness. Um, yeah. Um, if this is something that you're working toward, then, you know, just enjoy the process, um, enjoy the journey. If you're already far surpassed me, I hope you have enjoyed your journey so far and that you continue joining your journey, enjoying your journey. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Um, mm, I love it here. So I could stay here forever. If you don't want to stay here forever with me, feel free to pause forward. If you want to stay here for even longer, feel free to pause. See our practice. Up to you. Uh, all right. Okay. And wherever you were, Let's go ahead and woo, slowly bring the, which one are we doing? Uh, bring the left foot back toward the right, <laughs> coming into our little kind of like 90 degree straddle here. And when you're ready, you can place that left hand down, circle the right, bring us up to this fallen triangle and then lift that foot up. Last bit of working here. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee. Right hand comes down. 
left foot extends back up and comes back down to the mat. Okay. You know, let's take one last sun salutation. Why not? Okay, here we go. Jump it forward. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale it all the way up. Exhale. Hands to heart. Samasta Tihi. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Exhale. Jump it back. Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing. Exhale. Downward facing. Hmm. And let's lift the right foot up. Come up high onto the toes. And now we're going to bring our knee down with us into our pigeon variations. I generally like to go to king pigeon here. Um, you can look in the corner of your screen for the little video on our pigeon variations. So I'm going to take my king pigeon. You can take king pigeon as well, or you can go ahead, you could take mermaid, or you can take half pigeon. And we hold five, four, three, two, one, and release. Ah, I just like to throw my pigeons into all my practices. <laughs> okay. And if you can, let's heel toe that foot forward, making a nice straight line here. Your hips are less open. Feel free to bend your foot farther toward um, your hips here. Okay, and let's go ahead and fold it forward. Mm, the relief of pigeon. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Mm. Oh, let's hold it for 10. If you want to go deeper, you can go ahead and thread that left arm underneath the body. Take the right, bring it behind the back. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one, and unbind if you're bound, <laughs> or just come on up. Mm. Let's, you know what, let's open to the side. All right, we're going to take compass pose um, because it's fun to put in a hip opener. So let's, oh yeah, mm, yum. <laughs> Hug the left leg up. Uh, rock it back and forth like a baby. Mm, yes. Mm. And hopefully you can see well in the mirror because I didn't think about how I was going to face the other direction. <laughs> um, so take your right hand, take a hold of the left foot, take the left arm, snuggle it underneath the left knee, hand down, and then just go ahead and straighten the leg. Nice, beautiful compass pose. Love this one. I think most yogis love this one. Mm. And I like to then, we kind of already did this, but this is a hip opening class, so why not do it again? So I like to then slide down. Oh. 
<laughs> so then we come and we land here because it's fun. Mm. All right, let's bring it up. And so come up onto the left toes, reach the right foot up, bring it down. Left leg reaches up. Last time, coming into pigeon variations on the left. So, options king pigeon, mermaid, half pigeon. Oh, yeah. And hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release. All right. And folding it forward. Oh, yes. If you want to go deeper, take the right hand, thread it underneath. Bring the right shoulder down. Take the left hand. Bring it behind the back. Mm. <sighs> Relax here. You made it to the end of the practice. It's always a wonderful feeling. And when you're ready, unbind, bring it up, open up to the right, take that right leg, hug it into the chest, rock it like a baby. Stay here if you'd like, otherwise grab a hold of the right foot, left hand, snuggle the right knee over your right shoulder, and a straight leg. Mm. And if you want to stay here, play around with it, feel free, or if you want to continue down with me, also feel free. <sighs> Four, three, two, one, windmill. Tuck the right toes, reach the left foot back, and bring it down. And oh, let's come on to the knees. Scoot forward, bringing the feet in front. Hmm, is there anything else we need to stretch? I feel like we kind of just stretched as we went, right? Yeah, you know what? Let's take a shoulder stand. I don't know why I feel like I need to do it, but I do. So we're doing it. Here we go. Oh. Shoulder stand. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. How else in a plow pose? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees down. Covering the ears. Eight, seven. Six, five, 
four, three, two, one. And we won't do the whole um, finishing sequence of Ashtanga, but let's come into Lotus here if you can. So placing the right or the left first onto the thigh and then other foot, other thigh. And from here, let's just roll it forward. So we'll just do the fish at the end in Padmasana. So coming on to the head, counter pose of shoulder stand, taking the hands, grabbing a hold of the feet. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Untuck the head. Come on to the back. <sighs> Let's go ahead and take our twist. So bringing the um, right leg up. Mm, my lovely always gets in the way here. <laughs> okay, crossing the right leg over. Mm, bring the right shoulder down. Right hand down, looking toward the right. Switch sides. Mm. My spine always makes sounds there. <laughs> Alrighty, let's take the left leg, cross it over to the right, look over to the left, extending the left arm, bringing it down toward the mat. Two, one, bring it back to center. And last thing, happy baby. <sighs> Finishing the hip opening with some hip opening. <laughs> so you can grab on to the outside edges of the feet. You can grab onto the big toes, whatever you'd like. And trying to keep the, the butt down and just pulling the legs down. You can rock back and forth. And I like to then go ahead and straighten my legs and bring them toward the floor for my last <clears throat> posture. Ah, five, four, three, two, one. And at this time, if there's anything else that you feel your body needs, please give it to it right now. If you're all set, you can go ahead and lie down into Shavasana, feet as wide as the mat, hands by your side. <sighs> and just start to melt into the mat. Relaxing the toes. Relaxing the toe joints. Relaxing the tops of the feet. 
relaxing the soles of the feet. Relaxing the ankle. Relaxing the calves. Relaxing the shins. Relaxing the knees. Relaxing behind the knees. Relaxing the quads. Relaxing the hamstrings. Relaxing the hip flexors. Relaxing the pelvis. Relaxing your glutes. Relaxing your navel. Relaxing your lower back. Relaxing your upper belly. Relaxing your middle back. Relaxing your chest, your heart. Relaxing your upper back. Relaxing the back of your neck. Relaxing your shoulders. Relaxing the back of your neck. Relaxing your shoulders. Relaxing your upper arms. Relaxing your elbows. Relaxing your lower arms. Relaxing your wrists. Relaxing your palms, the backs of your hands. Relaxing all of your knuckles, and your fingers. Relaxing your neck. Relaxing your jaw. Relaxing your ears. Relaxing your teeth. Relaxing your tongue. Relaxing your throat. Relaxing your nose. Relaxing your eyes. Relaxing your cheeks. Relaxing your eyebrows. Relaxing the space between your eyebrows. Relaxing your forehead. Relaxing the crown of your head. Relaxing your entire body.
And take the next breath a little bit deeper. Starting to come back to the body. Finding a little bit of movement in your fingers and toes. Extending the movement to your wrists and your ankles. Take your fingers and interlace them, reach them up over your head. And bring your feet together and reach them the opposite direction. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Suck in more air. More. More. And exhale through the mouth. Ah, releasing everything that no longer serves you. And when you're ready, keeping the eyes closed, roll on to one side, using your arm as a pillow, the other arm to support you. And when you're ready, continuing to keep the eyes closed, push up into a comfortable seated position. Observe the effect of the practice. They say hips are where we store lots of emotions. Observe your emotions. How you feel physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. If you'd like, I invite you to come back to the theme of acceptance. Accepting where you are, how you feel. Accepting the present moment without judgment. Take a moment to thank yourself for being here. taking this time out of your day to do something so, so important for your mind, body, and soul. Thank you to the Mother Earth for holding us. Thank you to all the yogis before us for passing their wisdom down to us. When you're ready, you can blink open your eyes. Thank you so, so much for being here with me today, for practicing with me, for allowing me to share my practice with you. So, so, so much love and gratitude. Namaste.